this video we're going to assemble this weight bench $90 on Amazon you can see here we're gonna do the uh, bottom support with this uh, vertical structure here and then eventually attach it to the bench uh, and then come in and do this other um, bracket here that comes in so you can see we need we need D H 10 and 9 so we need a couple of nuts uh, screws which 10 and 9 so carriage bolt m8 by 60 millimeter and then the letters that we we needed so we got all the pile of hardware over here now i just have to remember which one's which so we're doing the uh, the tube, and we are going to find this part here is the other part. So it's gonna come in and attach that way. It doesn't matter uh, which side you put the holes, or which way you line up that tube. Now the hardware, we'll get that out. We'll try and find the hardware, you know, it's all in here like this, right? Not easy to figure out which one's which. So there does seem to be problems with the directions. It refers to carriage bolt M8 by uh, 60 millimeter. There are two carriage bolts in here, and this one is actually longer. I'm going with the two shorter ones because I think that's what you're supposed to have on here. So the directions just say nuts. Um, I'm going to assume it's the locking nuts here that I found. And we're just going to um, make these uh, finger tight for now. I'm going to tighten them and not waste you guys' time uh, with video of that. But, uh, you know, obviously you want to get these on and then tighten them up, right? So, this is the only bolt that's actually in here. Everything else is a carriage bolt. And so these directions, folks, are terrible. Uh, basically, we've got to attach this guy, and um, you can see there's a locking mechanism in here. So this rotates, it'll appear about the bolt, and maybe there's a washer in there. I'm not really sure what we're seeing here. Um, 14A washer, or that's the bench. A nut so metric 10 which this may be um, and we are going to attach the base with a nut and then a locking pin it looks like you guys can see this we put that bolt the only bolt I could find through the hole put this in there and you can see it does pivot about it now in the bag um, there is probably one nut in here that's big enough for this bolt. Where is it though is the question, folks. So, you know, you get what you pay for with these things, right? Um, here we go. One bolt, or one nut, that is big enough to fit this. And it's not a locking one. Um, and so who knows how well that's going to stay on there. And of course we need a second wrench on the other side. That's why they give you two wrenches. So if you make this too tight, folks, it looks like it's going to uh, crush this thing. I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, well, yeah. So don't tighten it too much. All right. So now we need the locking mechanism. And the best I can see, they're all the same size, maybe. Nope, they're not. 
So we have two, two different sizes, all right? Uh, question is, which one will fit in the hole? It's a smaller one, okay? So, this is what's going to give this bench the ability to go from uh, angled to, or basically angle it, and not too easy to line in there, but boom, it's in. So, all right, making progress. Yay. I'll flip this over so we can do the next part of it. I'm not sure why there are straps here. Uh, is that so you can strap yourself to the bench? <laughs> Here's our next part, this little tube with the bracket on there. And it looks like two screws will hold that in. So that'll go there. We just got to find the And as you can see, we're using uh, 1, 10, and 11. And uh, so what does it say 1, 10, and 11 are? One's a bolt. There's supposed to be two of those. 10 is a nut, and 11 is a washer. So we're actually going to use a washer on this thing. So the question, folks, is where are the uh, bolts at if there's two of them? All we have are Keurig bolts. And uh, this is frustrating because we're not going to be able to use these probably. We could potentially use them. Well, actually, here's one that we could use. Yep, oh, here we go. So, dome headed, um, those are like shoulder bolts, really. What I used to call them. So we do have our two bolts, thank God. So let's go ahead and, and try and line this thing up. so tight I don't want to try to line these up and a little bit of difficulty they could have made the holes a little bit bigger all right there's one in so now this one hopefully if we rotate it in the position so now I got those through I just have to find two washers and a nut and two nuts so, the only thing that's in there is the locking nuts that I could see. So we're going to use those. And it looks like we'll have to use an Allen wrench and one of their uh, cheapo wrenches they gave you. And I'll spare you guys from watching me do that. Uh, this is what was included. For that so we will use this and one of these guys these two tools to tighten it down essentially I did not use the right washers because they are overlapping um, but I do not there is not another size washer in here folks so this is stupid uh, if if I did this right for the directions we have two washers that are ginormous and they are basically um, one sitting under the other. Go figure. Um, yeah, and the Chinese think they're going to uh, beat us in a, uh, a war, right? I don't think so. Um, let's move on to the next thing. I know, if I was smart, I'll go back and take that off at a later time. And we will put a smaller size on there. Yeah, so what I'm seeing in the bag... Yeah, they didn't send me smaller ones. Um, yeah, so, oh well. Let's see, moving on. So now we're going to uh, create the, the posts to go with this thing. 
So let's go ahead and show you that. So we need these two feet, which uh, were cheaply made from what I saw. And then we'll have three parts here. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble one, and then we'll do the other one on the video. All right, so here is uh, what I'm assuming the finished product is supposed to look like. This is removable. And then uh, this part that, you know, this doesn't look right at all. Um, so that's what we're going to make here, folks. Let's go ahead and move this over here so we'll be side by side to the existing one. Now, the base, and then this guy. So, this basically will sit on here. And we'll want to put two of the carriage bolts into it. Preferably the ones that do not have Allen heads on them. If you can find any more. So I may have used the wrong bolts somewhere on this job. Um, yeah, there's one. So yep, we do have two. Okay. So you'll put those through there. Pop that in. Put this guy in. And rotate it so it square portion goes into the square hole. Then on the other side, we'll grab a nut and washer. So I'm going to do one real quick so this will stay in place. Uh, then I'll show you by flipping it over. Otherwise our bolts will probably fall out. If I can get that in there. It doesn't look like it did a good job. Oop. Yep, just what I sprayed it, folks. Take two. Here we go again. Washer. Nut. And I'm going to do one of these real quick. Hopefully I can get this thing on here this time. I don't know why I'm having such difficulty. Okay, there we go. So we got one in. Now I'll flip it over. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Here we go. There it is. Let's put one of these washers on here and a nut. And then, this nut seems to um, have some issues, which isn't good. So, I'm not really sure how we're going to do this. I think all we have are carriage bolts. But these are the carriage bolts that have, yeah. These are the ones with the Allen heads on them. So, we'll go ahead and put these in. I'll try and line this up so that you guys hopefully can see what I'm doing. So one side of this, oops, I just screwed that up. Um, so we've got to come in two bolts through this side. And I think if I could get this to stand up like this, there we go. There we go. One bolt. It'd be easier to try one bolt at a time, folks. And then I'm going to sit this on the floor because I think it'll work better. And we are going to 
money to, uh, we have so many washers. Let's go ahead and try and use these things. Spare you guys from watching me tighten these up. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Then we'll do the other side. So we uh, tighten these up. Don't tighten this too much because you'll basically it'll go into the tube itself. Um, you know, pot potentially weakening it. I'm going to do the other side. You guys saw one side. So you can imagine what I'll do. To get that side to work, I think the direction showed it, but I believe there are enough washers that you could put a washer on this side of this bolt, which you know would definitely be the way to go. Now, of course, if these guys have supplied us with bolts, all right, folks. So I assembled one of the uh, handles for doing dips on. I've got to say. If you're uh, six foot tall, this is kind of a waste of time. It's uh, It honestly is way too low to the ground. And I'm not sure this thing's going to be stable enough. But I'm going to go ahead and put it together. We'll talk about that when we actually review this. So that's one in there. Let's go ahead and put this one in. What we need, obviously, is to put the handle. We need a uh, one of these carriage bolts and our Allen wrench. And basically, you're just going to stick that thing in there. Come in from the other side with your bolt. And I'm going to try and get a few threads on this thing. Now, lining this thing up, folks, is not the easiest thing in the world. I will tell you that much. Um, I have concern, to be honest with you, if you're heavy... Uh, this is very thin walled metal in this tubing and putting a lot of weight on here might not be the best thing in the world. So, um, like I said, I did buy this for my kid. And I've kind of come to the conclusion that these, you should replace these with uh, real bolts. Uh, that way it doesn't do that, right? You just kind of fix it at one height and, and forget it. All right, so the last thing we have to do here, folks, is actually put this uh, this bench in here. And this will be interesting. Of course, I can hear the cats wanting to come in. Um, they probably want to go outside. They probably want to bug, bug me. Um, so, interesting. Not sure how I'm going to get that in there. Come on in, whoever that is. Is that you, Lily? So, you know, it does tell you, it does tell you to put this together, but uh, the reality is that I'm probably going to have to loosen one end of this thing to get that in there. Uh, yeah, this is not going to work. So, we're going to have to loosen one end up. And then put the that tube inside the other side. I don't know if you guys can see that very good. So I'm going to loosen it up. There's one of the cats. Um, oh my god, you guys can't even see that. I mean, I can see it. So this tube, you know, won't fit in here unless I, I loosen one end up. So let me do that real fast. And then we'll try and get it in there and we'll tighten everything up. All right, folks, so what I did is remove the top bolt completely. See how we're able to pivot that? This is going to fit in here now. And we should be good. Um, now, I don't know if the directions said to do that. Um, I just might have missed it. Who knows? I don't think I did. I like to follow the pictures on the picture guy. And uh, so that's what we did. But uh, there may be notes down there 
that say to do that. I don't know. Um, this seems to be the best way to do it, though, folks. I, I've got to say... That we are... We're cruising now, right? And... I think we've got a lot of excess washers, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use one on the outside of this shaft. Now we'll need our we'll need this guy again, okay? Allen wrench. And if you have a better wrench, we'll come in and look at it from this angle. Just make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. This is gonna be difficult to line this up, probably. Maybe not though. Wow, well, okay. So I gotta say, some places, folks, the the Chinese here, I believe it's the Chinese did this, they have actually done a good job manufacturing wise. Uh, overall, though, this is a rather cheap piece of you know what. Um, and so there you see, boom, putting that washer on there, spreading the load, right? That is the whole reason that I did that. Now we're going to do the other side. Yeah, hopefully I can find the other uh, bolt I had. So I'm going to... I would highly recommend, even though the directions don't say it, um, to go in and add those washers wherever you have one of these bolts. Uh, so you can tighten it down good. Unlike, you know, some places where it has actually... Um, made a divot inside of my inside of the tubing and potentially weaken the structure and you don't really want that and of course where I said one side is good this side is not right now maybe there's paint on the threads misalignment the other side was in there perfect this side I can't get it in slightly off so I'm gonna pause that till I get in there all right so we got it in there finally now we're gonna tighten this down I'm not gonna do it in the video though like I said I will add a washer to every one of these screws eventually and I think we now can really crank this thing tight the one thing you don't want on a bench, um, all the commercial grade ones are usually welded together. Um, most of the components are. Not all, right? And so, we um, want a nice rigid structure to the bench. Alright, so now, to finish off putting this bracket on, so we loosen one end of it. And I think I'm going to come back and potentially leave that one the way it is. And if we can get this to line up. So, folks. We fixed one problem and created a new problem. Um, it didn't feel so good. It looks like we have to tie this, bring this back in, and then hopefully it'll work. So we're having a little problem here. alignment because this is off well I will say if you have a better Allen wrench uh, you see how I just threw that um, if you have a better Allen wrench be sure to uh, use it 
Let's go for this little dinky one. All right, so I think we, I think we're finally lined up. And once I get this one lined up, I can go back and slowly take things apart. At least I hope I can. There we go. It's in now. Got a bolt on there. There's a nut. There's a nut on the bolt. So we're all lined up. Let's go ahead and take this down. So the top part of the bench will pivot inside this tube, which from that aspect is, you know, rather ingenious, I will say. Uh, tubing could be a lot fatter. But folks, I don't, I don't know if we have much more to do. The strap is to uh, hold it in place. Uh, we might have missed a part somewhere. We have an extra one of these. We have a whole bunch of extra nuts. I don't honestly know where the hell they go. Um, we've got a lot of places to add washers. And so there is the bench. Now, I don't have a barbell with me at the moment. Let's move this out a little bit. Get scared all the time. So that's kind of scary. Um, I'm 6'1", 260, and I'm just going to go ahead and sit on this thing a second. So the, the bench itself actually feels good. Wow. But uh, no way I'm going to be able to use these, if you guys can see that. I'd have to put the weight on here, pull it off, and press. Um, surprisingly, though, well, depending on which size bar belly you have, um, this would probably work out pretty good. Now, if you wanted to come in closer, it's a problem. Great. So this is a bench you probably need somebody to hand the weight to you. But other than that, it looks like it'll be all right for... You know, for a young young guy, I think uh, hopefully this will work good. It's so currently, even though I have an Olympic decline bench and I have a power rack, I actually grab the weight off the floor and hand it to my my kid. Um, and so that doesn't necessarily work so great. All right, so let's look at one more thing here, folks, and and I'll talk about this in a review. Uh, I was trying to do dips on here. This thing is definitely in the way, and I don't like to have to try and bend my knees completely 90. So, doing dips on this thing at the present height isn't going to work. Um, the feeling of stability on this thing does not feel real good for somebody my weight. I think ideally you'd have to move this up. You would also have to, I would suggest, locking these in with actual bolts. Uh, these things are not going to last a long time. And to be honest with you, this thing comes out so easy. Well, I mean, that thing popped out. We do have two in here. Uh, and so having them potentially go opposite directions might be better. But this thing is worthless, pretty much, except I think uh, it's a good place if you get stuck on a weight. You could potentially, um, if you're using these guys to have your barbell on, you get stuck on a weight and you can just get enough power to get it up to here, but not up to there. 
then that actually is a, is a decent feature. Uh, God, in a lot of ways, I wish more benches had something like that. A lower one where you could go, okay, I can't get it back up, but I can at least get it to this height. Because some people have, you know, uh, stronger chests and their, their triceps. Some people, their triceps are really strong, their chests aren't. But uh, if you got a strong chest and you can't lock out, having that feature on this bench is, is pretty good. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.